This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 19th of December. I'm James Spann. The warm-up continues, maybe a new record high Saturday, and some storms before the weekend is over. Let's go in there and take a look at the Skycam images this afternoon. Some high clouds overhead. That's the uh, Skycam from Demopolis in Marengo County, overlooking the Tom Bigby River. Another river view, that's the Alabama River, as seen from the Skycam at Selma. And up in Franklin County, some high clouds moving into northwest Alabama's uh, Russellville. And those are up at about 15,000 feet. The low levels are still very dry. As expected, upper low near Los Angeles. That'll be rotating down toward uh, the northern Gulf of California tomorrow and then lifting out to the northeast. And that will bring some unsettled weather in here this weekend. Temperatures this afternoon mostly in the 60s. Uh, Birmingham sitting at 63. Montgomery and Tuscaloosa, 67. Uh, we think everybody will be in the upper 60s tomorrow and mid-70s by Saturday. The uh, GFS is printing 74. If we hit that, that'll be a new record high. But it's still very cold up north. They're below zero at midday on the Canadian border. And in that colder air, this same storm that we will deal with, uh, deal with will bring some snow and ice. We've got winter storm warnings in effect from northeast Kansas up through parts of Missouri, Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, and down to the south, flash flood watches in effect from East Oklahoma through parts of Arkansas, Missouri, up into uh, Indiana and Kentucky, where some heavy rain is likely. And, of course, we are watching convective possibilities in the warm sector. This is the day three convective outlook. This is for Saturday and Saturday night. The standard slight risk of severe weather west of the state. That includes all of Louisiana, Mississippi, most of Arkansas, West Tennessee, East Texas, the enhanced probabilities are over the Arklatex region. That would include Shreveport up toward Little Rock. Monroe, Louisiana is in that. Lufkin, Texas. Longview, Texas. And again, there's no risk on day four. Or, uh, yes, day four, which is uh, Sunday. And I think at some point they'll probably put up a slight risk for us, the standard risk. Uh, um, but again, for now, they just uh, the guys at SPC feel like there's too many questions about it to issue an outlook at this point. Uh, this is the rain for the next five days. Big numbers in that zone where the flash flood watches are in effect from Arkansas up through uh, parts of southern Illinois, Indiana, into Ohio. Uh, some locations up there could see over four and a half inches. Down here, the number's a little higher. Uh, this is suggesting rain amounts of maybe one to two inches over the weekend. And technically, this goes through Tuesday evening, but uh, again, the bulk of the rain will come uh, late Saturday night or Sunday morning. Now, this is the snow possibility from early Saturday morning until early Sunday morning, the chance of one inch of snow or greater. Uh, higher probabilities are centered over parts of Kansas, North Missouri, up to about Milwaukee. And this is the ice potential over the weekend, which is interesting. The chance of greater than one hundredth of an inch of freezing rain. And again, there could be some icing up in that zone. That includes uh, cities like Chicago, St. Louis, and Kansas City. So if you're traveling up in that area in the cold air, they could have some snow and ice issues. We'll go through the modeling. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 12 noon tomorrow. And this is at 500 millibars. The upper low is over the northern Gulf of California, south of Phoenix. Down below that, moisture starts to increase. But again, I think most of the day tomorrow dry. I will mention just the chance of a shower tomorrow afternoon, but uh, anything that pops up should be few and far between, mostly on the western side of the state. Uh, this is Saturday as we kick off the weekend. The upper low that has been over the Gulf of California is opening up as a wave going negative tilt over Texas. And down below that, the surface low is located near Tyler, Texas, 1,000 millibars. Got a good breeze developing. It's going to be a warm and breezy day. And again, mid-70s are likely, more than likely a new record high. Uh, the bulk of the rain on Saturday will be north and west of here. Uh, and again, in that uh, area to the east and southeast of that surface low, much of Louisiana, uh, southern Arkansas, there could be some pretty rough weather uh, Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening. Now, this is Saturday night at midnight. The surface low basically went from near Tyler, Texas, to a point near Evansville, Indiana. And you can see uh, down below that a trailing batch of showers and storms pushing into the northern and western part of Alabama. Uh, and the, the models are in much better agreement on timing. Uh, we figure the bulk of this will come after midnight, although if you're in the far western side of the state near the Mississippi border, you might see a storm as early as 10 or 11 o'clock uh, Saturday night. But clearly, the bulk of the action should come after midnight. And then Sunday at noon, it's gone. I mean, uh, it is out of here. We'll check the 
Nam, just for some consistency. This is Sunday morning at 6 o'clock local time, and it's pretty good agreement now. Uh, it's, it's sped up. The GFS is slowed down a touch, so uh, we're thinking the bulk of the uh, storms for north-central Alabama, midnight until maybe 9 a.m. Sunday, that nine-hour window. Uh, let's look at the severe weather parameters. This is off the NAM, and this is going to be Sunday morning at uh, 6 o'clock. And, and again, thankfully, this is like a pre-dawn, you know, really late night type event, and the air tends to be more stable at this hour of the day. These things come through here at, you know, 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, the instability values, uh, you know, the bigger numbers obviously are down to the south in the Gulf. Uh, some uh, instability up to about 500 joules per kilogram here. That's sufficient for severe weather. This is the Energy Helicity Index, the EHI, and uh, not overwhelming. You want to see typically that value at one unit or greater, where you see green, and that's down in the Gulf. Uh, this is something that's been very impressive all along, the wind field uh, in the low-level jet. This is 5,000 feet off the ground, about 850 millibars. The winds are uh, 50 to 60 knots. And, of course, that can be transported down to the surface with stronger storms. So uh, that's the reason we think the main issue here, it's going to be strong, gusty winds with the line of storms. Uh, it might be enough in a few spots to knock down some trees and power lines. And I would imagine we'll see a number of severe thunderstorm warnings issued in advance of that line, especially west of I-65 early Sunday morning. And this is the uh, bulk shear uh, from the surface to 925 millibars, and the numbers are not all that high. They've come down a bit. Uh, I would say the tornado threat, while it's not zero, it's somewhat minimal. Uh, and again, I, I think this will be a linear set up, set up a line of storms uh, with strong gusty winds, probably midnight to 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. That's the big window there. And uh, severe thunderstorm warnings are likely. Just be aware of that. Uh, and the thing should be winding down by mid to late morning Sunday for our part of the world. Now, Christmas week, this is Monday. Storms are gone. We turn colder. I'm not so sure we get out of the 40s, a cool north breeze, uh, the sky becoming mostly sunny. Uh, this is Tuesday. Bright, sunny weather. We start the day in the 20s, probably mid-20s. Uh, the high Tuesday around 50. This is Christmas Day, December 25th. Uh, the latest GFS showing lows in the 20s. I think we'll have to bump the numbers down some. They've got the 28. So it's going to be a cold morning, but we'll warm up into the low 50s uh, by Wednesday afternoon. Sunny weather, no snow. In fact, really, it is amazingly calm across much of the nation. If you're looking for snow falling on Christmas morning, you'll have a hard time finding it. Even though it's going to be very cold up north, it's just basically dry. Uh, Thursday of next week still looks dry. That's a week from today. All right, let's go look at New Year's Eve, December 31st. Consistency has been very good in the idea of a wet weather system here uh, with a good soaker, maybe some snow from Missouri and northwest Arkansas, if this is right. And on New Year's Day, that storm is just off the upper Atlantic coast. That could be windy and snowy for the northeast United States. Uh, down here, the uh, rain would be moving out on New Year's Day. So, again, there's very good consistency in this idea. We'll check the uh, end of the forecast, the 4th of January. That's a pretty cold look, uh, troughing, di di digging down into the nation. Down below that, a 1,047 millibar high. Uh, this moving in, and uh, showers are exiting our state. And look at the cold coming down the pike. I mean, uh, that's almost off the scale. Uh, temperatures 50 degrees below average, if this is right. And that's a big if. You know, this is... 384 hours out, and there's no skill in specific weather out here. We're just looking for trends, so we'll keep an eye to see if that keeps up on uh, future runs. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.